We are on the University of Ghana campus to interact with some of the students and any stakeholder we find on the call for fees to be suspended for this academic year. Ajete Ajay Anan is a level 600 student, agriculture economics uh, here at the University of Ghana. Ajete, what do you think about this call for fees to be suspended for this academic year? I think it's a move in the right direction and every well-meaning Ghanaian should support this and should give in and should give it all the support that there is because we are in the hard time and we really need uh, government to consider some of these things and try to absorb our, field, our, our fees and make our time, our, our stay in the school very interesting or something like right. that. I think it is never late, nothing is late. Times are still hard and as times are still hard, uh, the call to cushion students from this shouldn't be taken in the face of the call came late so we should not give in or something like that we should go in for it we can re we can refund the money to the students okay. or in a way carry it forward to kind of free defray some costs in the near future or something should you do you think this should be need based or it should be across the board um i think this COVID has, is, is something that is no res respect of persons. So if uh, something like this is coming on board, it should affect each and every one. Right. Yeah, each and every one. Steven, you, you're a linguistic student. Yeah. Sure. MPhil. Yeah. Okay. Again, I'm not sure if the call covers MPhil, but would you love that it happens that way? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be glad if uh, there's some kind of reduction. But how much is your fee? Have you been able to pay everything? Um, not yet. I have covered uh, half of it How um, much to you secure to my... I had to pay about 2500 right. Uh Because of the COVID, I'm being taken care of by my grandmother. Oh, wow. um, and um, the COVID has come to spoil a lot of things. Wow. Uh, businesses, I mean, we do um, rubber business. Okay. And because of the COVID, uh, we are not able to produce a lot of them. And even people to buy, usually we move out there to sell um, in a car. Um, sometimes we have a shop. Um, so, due to the COVID, you are not able to do that contact selling right. again. Right. Uh -huh. My perception about it is that our parents who are paying our fees, or our students who do menial jobs to pay our fees, now we are not in normal times. Most students, most workers have been laid off, some uh, payments have been slashed off, and now, if possible, and then the government can actually absorb this thing for us i think it will be for the best or the good of all do you get students coming to you as a student leader to intervene with their payment of fees and all yes we do get that most of it and then we are trying our best as students our voices also count and god being so good we have leaders of this nation who listen to us we have leaders of this institution who listen to us so hopefully we are sending our pleas we are taking our petitions Hopefully, our pleas will be heard very soon, and hopefully, there might be a change. And how much was your fees? I paid thousand five hundred and sixteen cities. Yeah. Oh. That's if you compare that to fees of Ashesi or Central University or private university, that's cool, right? Yeah, it's cool. It's okay. And your parents were able to pay. It was easy. Yeah, it wasn't that easy, but with the help of God, I was able to pay. Right. Yeah. The virus has been very bad to us, but. We are still coping. You're telling me you are the last of seven children. Yes, please. So it means your big brothers are taking care of you, sorting you out. Yeah, they are almost all of them are married, so they don't really have time for me like that. So, okay. yeah. Um, there, there are calls for fees to be suspended this academic year because Charlie Money No Day. What do you think? Yeah, that would be better. But we've already paid. Mm. Yeah, so they should carry it forward. Okay. So next semester. We will not pay any fees, if that will be better. We've come to the University of Professional Studies. Michael Nate is a freshman. He is studying BSc Accounting. I want to speak to him to find out from him what his thoughts are. Michael, were you able to... How much is your fees, first of all? How easy was it paying? Um, the fee currently for freshers, I mean level 100, is about 4,300 thereabouts. Mm. Yes, I don't have the actual figure, but that's the... That's the fee we paid. Right. What, was it easy for you to pay? It wasn't easy at all. Tell it, me. It, um, I, it got to a time I nearly um, resigned my decision of coming to school since the fees uh, were not too affordable for me. Wow. Give me your economic reality, your background. Who is paying your fees? What does it do for a living, he or she? Okay, so um, the one paying my fees 
um, is my brother. And I think he'll be doing that for the next four years. Mm. Um, he's a transporter. He, he, he drives the tanker trucks. Okay. Uh, so that's what he does. My parents, they, my mom, my mom is a trader and then my dad is a fisherman. Right. Yeah, at Ningo. Okay. So, um, what are your thoughts about the call for fees for tertiary, public tertiary institutions to be suspended? Yeah. I think... Um, People saying they should suspend that um, fee payment for this, for this academic year is a good move. I think uh, are, the government is supposed to pay our fees for it. Since um, during the lockdown, he gave some reliefs and other things. I think uh, the student body, we need our share. How much fees do you pay? Mm, 4,023, I think. 4,023? 25. 25. Which, which level? Estimated. I'm in 300. What do you study? Business administration. Is that too expensive? It's okay. No, it's it is expensive, but I know that even though we are paying the fees, they are not only using teachers, they are also building infrastructure. So True. I get it. They are trying to develop the school for others to also come and then they'll have it easier at that time. So I don't really have a problem. But the only issue is that with the COVID that has come right now, a lot of people are suffering. So if at least for just that period they could reduce the fees a bit because students pay some students pay the fees them themselves. So if they could reduce it for just that period it will really help those people who so are you are not up for the idea of suspending fees because you think universities use that to build infrastructure but you want some reduction. Yes. As for this because the universities run on the fees that we pay. So it's just I feel like it's better if they just reduce it. If they stop, if they stop paying altogether, it will bring about some issues in the, in the running of the school. And you think it may affect the quality of teaching and learning? Exactly. Yeah, so the, the school is running on our fees, and so um, if if government should come and pay, I think it will, there will be a delay. There will be a delay because right now we all know that um, should government engage in any activity, uh, there's there's always a delay. So, yeah. I think we at least if if there is a reduction, that one is okay. So, by by what percentage should uh, a reduction be? Uh, yeah, you both are talking about reduction. So, what percentage? Maybe we should pay forty percent. What about you? Fifty. Fifty, 50 is fine. Fifty, fifty. Yeah. To be about three thousand there about. Okay. Yeah. And for your hostel fee. No one, I don't know about But if you put all together, will it be up to 9,000? I'm not sure. 7,000? Hey, let's inquire because I wasn't the one who paid. Your dad paid everything? Yes. So you, you, was there a problem with the payment of fees? Did you, have, did you go through any struggles to pay your fees? Uh, no. Okay. University also runs on the school fees we pay. Then there should be a half responsibility, 50-50. And... That would be the way for it. Yeah, it's been very civilized for my parents. But with this situation in the country, that's COVID-19 era, it's been much very difficult to complete everything. So this semester, I'm doing half payments, then continue the other payments next semester. Usually when you show your fees to your parents around this time, what's the reaction? What's their mood? What do they say? Oh, before it was okay, but now... You know how things are in Ghana right now. 